Hi, thanks for joining me today. This is Jonna with Purple Girl Crafts. Welcome back. Today we're going to make this hide and seek card. This card requires no die cuts and when you open it, you have a flap and then you have a great surprise inside. Now this card is a seven inch by five inch when it closes, it will lay flat for shipping so there's no additional postage needed. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to need is our scoreboard. And then for the base of the card, this is going to be cut at 10 and a half by six and three quarters. And on the 10 and a half inch side, we're going to score this at one and a half inches and six inches. And then we'll fold that in a second. Next, we are going to need a piece of paper. This is for the inside. This is one piece for the entire flap. And this is eight by five and three quarters. Now, when you're doing this, you want to make sure that your image is on the left hand side if you are going to pre stamp this. So I'm going to turn this upside down because this will be the piece that will be showing at the bottom of the card. And I'm going to put a one half inch score mark three and seven eighths, four and three eighths, and four and seven eighths. So you should have your square marks in the middle and then one on the end. So that is for the mechanism on the inside. Then we'll need a piece of paper that is cut at three and three quarters by six and a half. We will need one piece cut at four and one quarter by six and a half. We will need one piece cut at two and three quarters by five and a half. One piece cut at one and one quarter by six and a half. And then for the quote on the inside of the card, this is cut at two and a half by five and one quarter. So that's all we're going to need the scoreboard for. So let's go ahead and move that out of the way. And next we're going to start the assembly of the card. So I'm going to fold the small flap in first and I'm just going to line it up and then I'm going to crease it out. And next we're going to take, and we're just going to fold this on that last score mark, which will fold the paper in half. And then let's crease that out. So next I'm going to show you the layers and where they go. So for the front of the card, we are going to use the piece that is four and a half by six and a half. So that will be the front. And for the inside, we will use a piece that is three and three quarters by six and a half. That will go on the left side. And then for the right edge, that is the piece that is one and one quarter by six and a half. And then for the last of the pattern paper, this is going to go on the flap on the inside of the card and then the embellishment or the quote will go on top of that. So let's go ahead and fold this piece. So the first piece is we're going to fold that little edge that is going to be folded down to a mountain fold away from your image. And then we are going to fold those two center lines that we had scored. Then we're going to fold this and then we're going to just bend this back and forth. And this is just to make a crease so that it's got that little lip to sit underneath the lip on the base of the card. So it will open like that. So we're going to grab our glue and we're going to glue inside these two score lines that we did. You could just glue it on one side if you want it, or you can glue on both sides and then just close it in on itself and it'll give you that little ledge that's sealed and that will fit underneath the flap of the card. So this is what we will have once we have glued that down. And then I'm just going to take my eraser, make sure I don't have any glue sticking out. And then I'm just going to score that on the front too. So this will be the piece that's inside the card. And then this piece will get glued. And this was the last piece that was four and a quarter by six and a half. 
So I'm just going to glue this since we're working on it now. I'm going to glue this piece down. And I did use scrap paper, as you can see. So that will be the embellishment on the inside. So now for the base of the card, we're going to put the one piece in and this piece is going to get glued. So this is what will the card look like on the inside when we, after we glue it all down. So I'm going to glue this first piece down. And again, this is a piece that is four and a quarter by six and a half. And we're gonna glue this to the inside left panel of the card. Now we are going to grab our inside piece and we are going to glue this down. You want to make sure this is about a half an inch. Let me just double check it and measure it. Yeah, about a half an inch from each side. You want to line the edge up with a fold of the card and then just glue it down. And once you have it positioned and you know it's right and it's lined up, you can just hold that down, close the flap on itself, and then place glue on it. And now you can just lay that flap flat and then press that glue down. And I'm using my bold folder to spread it out. And just getting rid of any extra glue because it will stick if you have any extra glue on there. Now for this part, you're not gonna see that so I'm not worried about the ink going through. And then the second flap, what we're going to do is we're going to glue this down, but we are only going to glue the very top edges. We don't want to go too far down because we're only a half inch from the top and the bottom. So I'm just going to put a stream of glue on the one far edge of the flap. And then we're going to close it on itself and then press that glue in. And this will just keep that flap inside that card. Now I'm just pushing on this just a little bit just to make sure that it's not going to stick and it has enough room to close on itself. And there you go. And then when you open it up, you have your inside hidden flap with your saying on it. I just think this card is so fun. Okay, so we're going to glue the last piece on. And this is the piece that was one and one quarter inches by six and a half. And we're going to glue that just to that top edge that we just glued down. And I'm just making sure again that there's no glue anywhere because the card will stick to itself if there's any glue. So that is the inside of the card done. As you can see, it's flat for folding or shipping. No extra postage needed. Okay, that looks good. So now for the front of the card, we're going to glue this front panel on. And again, this was the piece that was four and one quarter by six and a half. So I have some letters that I had already pre-cut from a long time ago. I took them and I glued about five layers together just to give this some dimension. And then I didn't like the white letters on the card because they blended in too much. So I took and cut a piece of paper that's about one and a half inches by six and a half. And then I'm just going to lay the letters on there going 
up and down. And I'm just using my ruler to line them up. And then we're going to go ahead and glue those down. Once I have them lined up. But you could decorate this any way that you want it. This is more for the mechanism of the card that I'm trying to show you. Okay, so now that we have that done, we're going to go ahead and we're gonna glue this banner. And again, I used a piece of scrap paper. We're gonna glue this banner to the left side of the card. Now for the inside of the card, we're going to put the word yuck up on top. We could have put this on the front of the card or you could add different embellishments. My cards are to give you inspiration, to show you how to make cards that pop up that are interactive. So if you like this card, please subscribe to my channel. If you didn't like this card, please subscribe to my channel because there may be a card out there that you don't want to miss out on and go, wow, I need to make that. So until next time, happy crafting. See you real soon. Bye-bye.